Hey guys, it's me Drew and I am here to do a video on Candles Off Main. Now Candles Off Main is a really awesome candle website. They also I believe have a store. Um, yeah, they do have a store. Let me figure it out real quick. The store is actually located. One second you guys. Um, I'm not exactly sure where they're located, but I will put a, a link to the store down below. But anyway, they sent me these candles to review for you guys. Um, but as always, I'm going to be 100% honest. These are some, they say fall and winter type candles, more like winter, but they're woody scents. And me personally, I like to burn really deep wood scents at night. I also like to burn them in the living room by the fireplace so for me these are all year round type of scents as well as these candles um you could burn you can still get online as well so we'll start with a brand that most people are familiar with and that is nest fragrances nest fragrances is laura slatkin who is harry slatkin who owned um bath and butterworks candles made bath and butterworks candles um husband or wife so anyway so it comes in this awesome, awesome box, and I have been burning this one for a while now. It smells super, super spicy. It looks like this. It has a really, really, really pretty jar. It says Nest Fragrances right here. It has this really, really awesome, it's a very soft wax. Um, I will say, this does take a really long time to burn a full across, which I know seems kind of kind of odd because the wax is really soft like I just put my finger in it's disgusting but I just put my finger in there it'll even out but you can definitely really tell that the wax is super super soft to me hearth smells just like burning wood just like a fireplace um just like a fireplace this is not the strongest candle that I've had either um, compared to like Diptyque's Fou de Bois, this is definitely like a 3 out of 10 um, for strength that's not very strong at all. I have to really like put my nose up to it to smell it and you guys know I'm not, jump that a little bit, I'm not a really big fan of that. But this I burn in my bedroom, I wouldn't burn this in a big area, maybe like a bathroom or your bedroom. This is an 8 ounce candle. And they retail for $40. I will put a link to all these candles individually down below for you as well. So that is the Nest Fragrances Hearth. Next is the Rigord. Rigord. It sounds like I have a list. Rigard. Rigord. I don't know. Rigu Paris candle. Um, it is in the fragrance Vizuit. Vizuit. I don't know. <laughs> My French is really bad. I actually have not burned this one yet just because it is so pretty. You guys, this has a little orange ribbon. It's, whoops. It says Rigood on the lid and has a little plastic covering. This is extremely strong. This one I believe is super small but it also retails for $40. It says, loaded with rare and precious essences such as amber and incense, the woody notes of cedar and vetiver bolster the heat of the perfume. The warm, spicy notes of cinnamon and cumin bring personality. This burns for 20 hours. It's $40. It's extremely high for a candle. Um, I definitely will be burning this. Probably, I'm going to do it in my bedroom first to see because for $40, I hope it has a strong, strong scent throw. I'm sure it will. Um, it is the Petite model, made in France. Super, super strong. You definitely get a really strong, incense -y, almost like tobacco-y, cigarette-type smell, um, which I don't love the scent of cigarettes, obviously, but um, it smells really, really, it smells really good. Um, I'm excited to burn this. You will see my full, full review on these in Empties videos. Next we have the Alum Wood Fire Luxury Scented Candle, and this is actually a travel tin. I believe this is not available on the website anymore. It says, yeah, it's not, I don't see it anymore. Um, 
this one is, like I said, wood fire, and I did not burn this yet. Um, I'm going to New York City in a little while, um, and I'm going to bring this in my hotel room to burn in the hotel to really get the full experience. It's such a cute little candle. This is super creamy. So it does say wood fire, um, but it has more cream to it. I would say this is very similar to Bath & Body Works Fireside. Because Fireside from Bath & Body Works is super spicy, but it has a little bit more of a cream to it, which makes it more pleasant for everybody. So that was the wood fire from Illume. And um, does it say how many hours? It does not say how many hours. Um, does not say how many hours, but it's a really, really cute little candle. Next is Veluspa's Incognito. Looks like that. And I have not burned this one yet either. Incognito is super different than all the rest. Incognito says, Rare oud and warm amber welcome mysterious black patchouli in a sensual surprising delight and this actually is the cheapest candle this retails for nine dollars it's a nice big size these are the size candles that you can get like anthropology and stuff like that i love the scent of oud um joe malone oud and bergamot um cologne is really great tom ford's oud wood uh are very very nice fragrances so it has that oud oud is a spiced wood but it has this interesting note that nothing else I've ever smelled smells like, which is why I love this. And it does have a little bit of like a floral almost, which sounds kind of weird for like a fire scent, but it's really, really yummy. I feel like this and the wood fire are ones that are really great for um, anybody. Anybody would really like those. Next is by Linnea's Lights. Now let's just talk about this packaging for a second. It has, um, it says Linnea's Lights. This is Hearth as well. Fine fragrance, product of the United States. All natural, Swedish heritage inspired, Midwest made uh, soy candle. It has a cotton wick and aromatic, and then it has a little bit about it on the bottom. The best thing you get, oh, you get matches with this, which I think is absolutely adorable. They say, Linnea's lights right on the matches there. So that's really, really a cute thing. And then here is the candle, and I have burned this. I actually burned this two times. Looks just like this. The logo is very, very light. It's definitely not a big logo. This smells almost... Almost identical to the Nest Hearth. Because they're both hearth, but I feel like this is a little bit stronger. But it also has a little bit more spiced wood in there. I would definitely say a little bit more spiced wood. It doesn't say exactly what, but it definitely has a spicy wood type, more spicy would um the strength on this was really really nice it was not overpowering it was not ridiculously strong it was just the right amount of strength that i would want i had this in my living room i was um watching tv burning it and it has that cracked wax like 1820 house does it's pretty cool um i love this candle and the description on this or the no the price for this is 34 dollars so it's a nice great candle oh and it also I had at the bottom came with one of these little cardboard um, to protect the wicks. So, love this candle. I love that it has matches included. It's That's such a great little gift. And then last but not least is from Lofco. This is a little gift set in the fragrance Fou de Bois. So, you get a hand cream which is a 3.38 ounce hand cream, a 4.5 ounce piece of specially blended 100% vegetable soap, and a candle as well. So you open this up. It has a nice, nice sturdy box. And they are presented just like this in the box. So first thing you do is have the candle, which I think is such a gorgeous, almost looks like a hand-blown glass candle. And this Fou de Bois is very light, which is kind of interesting for a woody type candle to have a um, 
scent like that to have a um to have a light scent but it's a gorgeous scent it's kind of hard to smell let me smell a little bit more it's definitely not the strongest but I do know Lofco candles smell a lot stronger when they burn so that's what I'm definitely hoping for it smells really really lovely though um, also like that very burnt wood next I have a soap and they are on the same set and the soap is a really really nice soap it's one of the oval type soaps that you would leave in your bathroom and it does say Lofco New York on the label wow my camera's focusing and I almost feel like the soap is stronger than the candle but it's crazy because the soap smells like soap like as much as it smells like food of bois it has a soapy scent to it too which is really really nice oh and it says Fou de Bois right on there too. Wow, this camera is focusing great today. Um, so that's a really, really great. I'll probably put this in the guest bathroom when I'm finished with a piece of parsley porridge, I believe I have from Lush in there. I love parsley porridge. And then last but not least is the reparative hand cream, which I have been using. It's a very, very light textured hand cream, if you can see that. So it's a very light textured hand cream. It's definitely unique in the hand cream. What's crazy is even though it is the Faux de Bois scent all around, it smells a little bit different in each formulation. So this one has a more creaminess to it. The candle's definitely more smoky, and the soap one has a really, really clean effect to it, which I really, really like. Loft Coat is a definite high-end brand. Um, it's a very unique brand. They definitely have a lot of awesome scents. It says Loft Coat New York in the box as well so this is another great gift i believe this retails for 55 dollars let me look on their website yes 55 dollars so nice and you could even take this sleeve off in case you didn't want mm, ups is here there'll be a sephora package coming or a sephora order coming soon but yes so this is a great gift i would say for anybody because like a housewarming you can take the sleeve off just wrap the box up as well so this was my video on candles off main definitely check them out it's a, like a candle superstore it's awesome they have all sorts of high-end candles for all price ranges so i hope to make a video on diffusers and spring scents from candles off main coming soon Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.